This is day three in Rome, and we woke up to a cold and rainy day that even the birds don't want to fly. When have you ever seen that? It is about 1 o'clock. We still have not left our apartment. I doubt that we will. We'll see if the weather lets up a little bit. Which is the calcium. Big. It was a lot more destroyed than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it really is. It's not a lot of it and stuff so uh, we're leaving now it's raining and the only good thing about the rain is that it wasn't packed so the lines weren't too long um, wasn't a whole bunch of people the umbrella did get in the way of a lot of pictures but it kind of makes me some cute pictures to be honest yeah add some character a subject if you may taking lenses from me huh yep no way so now we're gonna just gonna find a souvenir shop and see what I can get. We can get. We can get. We can get it. That's my girl. We just got back from food shopping. We got some more wine, some mozzarella cheese that we haven't tried yet here in Italy. We've still been divulging in our Amsterdam smoked cheese that we actually got in Volendam on a day trip. Um, so we just got back from buying some food. And let me show you what Danny is up to. So we are washing some dishes mm -hmm. while seated on a stool. And watching YouTube. And watching YouTube. I like the full of the frontal stuff. It's funny. Aren't you a comfortable person right now? It's vacation, you know? <laughs> Gotta relax. I know it's vacation and I just made the bed and it's like it's 6 o'clock in, in the evening. <laughs> Alright, so this is the new wine that we bought. We got another one of the one that we liked and then we got this one. This is a Chianti. We got some Mediterranean chips. I am assuming they are like basil flavored because it has a, the basil right here and then the tomato. We got some sweets. Shit ton of those chocolates from the other day. Oh yeah, these were really good and they sell like a massive pack of it. So we got some more of those. What else did we get? Oh, we got some peach, not peach, apricot jam. And Danny wanted to try the lemon one. And then we got some more pasta, pasta sauce, some meat, all the like regular stuff. And your required bananas. And my banana. Well, I mean, why are you gonna say it like that? Because <laughs> they're required for you. Yeah, they are. <laughs> we got mozzarella. Actually, I want to try this now. We got mozzarella. And then this is the ravioli that we got with um, ricotta and spinach. We got some gnocchi over here. This is a Amsterdam cheese that I was talking about. That's a strong. So we just had some bomb ass lunch. Right? Yeah, that place was good. That place was really good. Um, I had a margarita pizza. I had and you had like, yeah, I had is, like artichoke, mushrooms, prosciutto ham. It we're would going, have had all those, but let me double check, but I'm pretty sure it's left. Well, it, okay. Oh, it's right here. Um, let me prosciutto ham, artichoke, mushrooms, no onions, right? No, no olives, no onions. And then we had a liter of wine, no judging. And we had oh, crazy yeah. for an appetizer, which was awesome. The mozzarella is so good, right? Oh yeah, very, very good, very fresh. And if you put a little bit of olive oil on top of it, mm, so good, so good. But, and right now we are heading to the Orto Botanico, which is a botanical gardens here in Rome, and it's in the Travesteri area. 
which is beautiful. Yeah. We're it's gonna see if we can get a place here. It's a lot time. nicer than where we're staying. Not that where we're staying is bad, it's just a lot more well kept. And the wine was cheap too. I mean it was a house wine, it was actually pretty good. Yeah, it was a house wine and it was like eight euros for, for like an a entire liter. liter. Which is more than a wine bottle. Yeah, which is what exactly. So pretty. I don't see any signs yeah. for that. So we made it to the botanical gardens and it's actually really pretty. They have a whole bunch of palm trees, which I've seen my whole life because we're from Florida. So I really don't need to see that. But they have medicinal plants. They have a Japanese garden, which I'm definitely interested in. Ferns, bamboos, garden for blind people, which I think is rather interesting. And we actually already passed that. We have to go all the way around. This is the map. Cool fact is that the botanical gardens here in Rome is like owned by the University of Rome, which I think is pretty interesting because that means that they're the one that kind of keep this very well kept and stuff. And I'm always about you know education and keeping all that stuff, so that's pretty nice. gardens and stuff. Oh, and they have greenhouses that you can go into. I think actually this is a greenhouse that we can go into. Yep, number 17, which is Corsini Greenhouse. Is my boo coming? Hey, boo boo! <laughs> oh, there's nothing in here. There's nothing in here. This is a greenhouse. Yeah, and there's nothing in there. That's okay. Other than me, and I just walked out of there. Okay. We are gonna head to the wetland plant. Oh, there is stuff in here, but why did we didn't see them? It was empty. I showed you guys. Like, they do have stuff. Is there like a secret door that I didn't see or something? Oh, I think this is like a lemon tree or something. See it? No, I don't think this is lemon. The bamboo! These things are tall. Look at that. Whoa! Alright, so now we are heading to... What is it called again? Scalinata delle Antiche Fontane. Which is... A really pretty watery staircase. <laughs> These might be it. Well, not this one, but that one down there. You ready? We're both gonna see this for the first time. Fountain isn't even on, but it's so pretty. Looks like on the first, like, step down. He's so focused on getting his picture. Go get him, boo. Dinner time, I'm excited. We have some pasta. We got some, where'd the light go? Oh, you turned it off? Yeah, I turned it off. You turned the light back on, it's the first place to right. All right, and we got some chicken with some mozzarella. Danny is experimenting. Same as always. And I just finished writing all my postcards to my peeps. Peeps? <laughs> it's really to my family. And a friend. And a friend. We got Bapples cards, bling bling. <laughs> and then tomorrow we gotta wake up early to go to the Vatican. What time do you wanna wake up tomorrow? Um, 
go. No, no, either. What time does it open that? Let's see. Let's look at a little handy dandy book. They open at 7 a.m. We're not gonna wake up us. We're not gonna be there at 7 a.m. They open at 8 a.m. in October. All right, so I will start with all right. <laughs> and he stopped doing that. Anyway.